Good morning, Faith Lutheran. I'm Marcello Blanco. I'm Anna Masseri, reporting from the FLNN. Faith Lutheran incorporates prayer in almost everything they do. It's a scene of chaos and uncertainty. Thanks for tuning in to the FLNN Sports Broadcast. Good morning, Faith Lutheran. I'm Shay Turner. And I'm Maddie Vespain. Thank you for joining us. This year, the Las Vegas community has been brought together in numerous ways, especially when it comes to our hockey team, the Golden Knights. The Knights have been doing exceptionally well in playoffs and have their next playoff game Saturday at 4 p.m. Go Knights! With the school year coming to a close, seniors are making their final decisions about colleges. That's right, Shay. Lily Saxton got the inside scoop on seniors' plans going off to college in the fall. Hi, I'm Lily Saxton for the FLNN. It's 11 days and counting for seniors until they flip the page for the next chapter. We asked the 2018 class what their plans will be for the next year. Faith Lutheran seniors only have 11 days left until they walk across the stage and receive their diploma. Before then, seniors have to make a hard decision of where to go after high school. We interviewed Mr. Chilman, a FLHS college counselor, and he gave us some advice for picking the right college and the steps non-seniors should be taking to prepare for the big day decision. Right college? I mean, hopefully we're doing the four years worth of stuff where we're talking to freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors about various things and various applications, um, helping them try to find the right fit for them. So ultimately, we want them to find the place that's going to be best for them. Well, if you're a freshman and haven't had your freshman meeting, then you absolutely need to have your freshman meeting. If you're a sophomore or junior, that depends. Juniors right now should be really worried about testing. If they haven't done ACT or SAT, they're instructed to take both. And sophomores should really be working on their academic resume. We interviewed two FLHS students, Donovan Evangelico, who will be attending Laola Marymount University, and Joseph Chu, who will be attending Duke University. We asked them why and how they came to their final decision. I went there for their good economics program and also for fencing. They gave me lots of money. I got recruited there. My brother lives in LA, so I was touring colleges in Los Angeles, and I toured LMU, and it was cool. Well, it's great hearing what's in store for the 2018 graduating class. For FLNN, I'm Lily Saxton. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Lily. The spirit of next year's Key Club has elected their officers for next school year. Jordan Stark reports more on this story. Wow, I'm so glad I picked up that litter. Speaking of community service, Key Club is a club offered at Faith Lutheran that introduces students to service events in their area. Recently, the new officers for next year have been elected. Let's go find out more about the process and what it means for the club. We have key club officers to help maintain um, organization within our club. It's designated as president, secretary, uh, vice president, historian, club bulletin editor, and webmaster, and then our class reps. And each person has a duty to do within the club to make it function properly and to make sure communication is good to all of our members. Um, I'm the president-elect for next year. I'm webmaster and historian and upperclassman representative. Officer training is an annual event held at many different schools. At OTC, we learned how to maintain social media accounts and how to make good captions and get the word out about Key Club. We all got separated into each of our own positions, and then we all went into our rooms, and um, they taught us like the things that they expect from all the positions that there are many qualities that allow officers to excel in their positions. Um, I think you just have to be outgoing and uh, pretty organized because there's going to be a lot of stuff thrown at you. To be an officer in Key Club, it takes responsibility and dedication and organization. If you're interested in joining Key Club or becoming an officer, make sure to contact Ms. Bowline for more information. I'm Jordan Stark from the FLNN, signing off. Thank you, Jordan. We now go to Marcello for a special FLNN report. Earlier this week, I went, went across school and interviewed previously handicapped students and asked them about their troubles navigating the hallway doors here at Faith Lutheran. Good morning, Faith Lutheran. Rather large doors, just like the one I exited, have become a topic of discussion among students and faculty here at Faith Lutheran for being hard to open and close while handicapped. I went around and investigated this favor by asking students and teachers about how they could fix this problem. 
Handicap accessibility has become a new topic of interest at Page Lutheran as injured students have become concerned with the doors and how handicap accessible they are. Uh, it wasn't too easy. People are actually very rude here <laughs> and they don't move when I try and walk and they'd run into me and trip over my crutches so I'd have to walk extra carefully and a lot of people were pretty nice holding the door open but the doors are really heavy so whenever I'd walk by myself I'd have a really hard time walking and opening the door because the door would shut on me. I think we do a good job. I think the hardest part is probably getting up to like the soccer field. We don't have anything really for handicaps there. We have to go around the entire field. Other than that, maybe like doors. There have been a few suggestions for how the school could improve the handicap friendliness on campus. Oh yeah, so if they had like that button thing, that would be a lot better because the doors would stay open. Probably like easier entrances, bigger doors, probably more open sections, and definitely a ramp up by the soccer field for handicaps there. Make sure to be considerate to your fellow crusaders who might need a little extra help going through these doors and just moving around school. For the FYNM, I'm Archel Blanco. Back to you in the studio. According to Mr. Danning, Faith is 88 approved and compliant to Clark County School District regulations. That's it for today's broadcast. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week. For the FYNM, I'm Archel Blanco. Back to you. Oh, God bless.